Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. But the problem is we have two variables and only one equation. So the solution is going to be interesting. We have 16 to the power x squared plus y plus 16 to the power x plus y squared equals 1. And we're going to be looking for x and y values. We're going to be looking for real values, but if you wanted to find the complex values, you could also do that because I'm going to give you a really nice equation that you can work with. All right, let's see how we can approach this problem. Obviously, we're not necessarily looking for integer solutions, so this is not a Diophantin equation, even though, even though the solutions you know, can turn out to be integers, but we don't know that ahead of time. So we're just going to solve it for real values. But you only have one equation, so we have to use a more advanced tool here, which is inequalities. Yes, inequalities play an important role in the solutions of some non-standard equations. And the inequality that we're going to use today is called AMGM inequality. And that's a very famous inequality that is used for uh, proving inequalities that is part of math olympiads and competitions. So AMG inequality works like this. If you have two numbers that are positive, uh, and in this case, 16 to the power something is always going to be positive, right? Uh, you can take their arithmetic mean, which is the average, and then geometric mean, and their arithmetic mean is always going to be greater than or equal to their geometric mean. So for two numbers like a and b, we can write this as a plus b over 2 is always greater or equal to the square root of a, b. And this, uh, proving this is fairly easy to do because you can go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 and you can actually go uh, proceed like this. You can subtract, put everything on the same side, like make a common denominator. And don't just assume that this is positive or negative. Just work with this and notice that you're, this is going to become square root of a minus square root of b squared, which always has to be greater or equal to zero for real values. And obviously you can just go back and place the inequality symbols and that is going to be the proof. Great, so let's go ahead and uh, see how we can use AMGM uh, to solve for an equation. We're gonna use an inequality to solve an equation, which is, I think, interesting. So here's how AMGM works for this equation. I'm going to take two numbers, 16 to the power x squared plus y, and 16 to the power x plus y squared, and I'm going to take their arithmetic mean, and it's supposed to be greater or equal to their geometric mean, which is the square root of their product. Awesome. And this is important. The motivation behind this is if you use AMGM, you're going to be able to multiply these two quantities together, and you know their sum, but you don't know anything about their product, but when you multiply them together, uh, you have the same base, so you can use rules of exponents, add the exponents, and write it with a single base. Make sense? So that's going to be a good thing. And also, we do know the value on the left-hand side, so this just becomes a 1. Now I'm going to put the right-hand side on the left-hand side and vice versa and see what we get from here. And so let us let me go ahead and copy this. I don't want to skip steps or rush through this. I want to take my time, if you don't mind. So we can write this as less than or equal to one half because we have one on the in the numerator on the left hand side and now it becomes the right hand side because I switch sides. Okay, now what can I do with this inequality? I'm trying to solve an equation. I don't want an inequality. Okay, okay let's see what we can do. First of all, we can go ahead and uh, combine the exponents, right? And uh, square both sides. So let's go ahead and do square root both sides first or I'll add the exponents first, okay, fine. And then I'll square both sides. If you do square both sides, you're gonna get 16 to the power x squared. And I'm gonna write the x squared with x because they're good friends. And then plus y squared plus y. And now when I square both sides, I'm going to get 1 fourth on the right-hand side. This is still not very good, right? I mean, I can do log on both sides. Yeah, that, absolutely, you can definitely do that, but I want to make the exponent a little nicer. So here's what I can do. I'm going to work with x squared plus x plus y squared plus y. And guess what? I'm going to complete the square. So I'm going to be adding 1 fourth plus 1 fourth and then subtract 1 half. Is that balanced? Yes, it's zero. So now I get the following x squared plus x plus 1 fourth 
yeah, you should definitely know this if you're dealing with, uh, you know, competition level problems or if you're just doing math for fun. This is fun. I hope you agree with me. So you get the following. Now, notice that these are perfect squares and that's perfect. From here, I get x plus one half quantity squared plus y plus one half quantity squared minus one half. Awesome. So I was able to write the exponent as a sum of two squares minus something. That's okay, we'll deal with that. But let's go ahead and substitute that here. Let's go ahead and substitute it into our expression. So we get something like this. 16 to the power x plus 1 half squared plus y plus 1 half squared minus 1 half is less than or equal to 1 fourth. Awesome. Okay, we're almost there. Now, what can I do with this, right? Well, I can now log both sides uh, with base 16, right? Uh, let's go ahead and log both sides. Log both sides and use base 16. And that is going to give you the following. Log of base 16, 16 to the power x plus 1 half squared plus y plus 1 half squared minus 1 half is less than or equal to log 1 over, I mean, not 1 over 16, 16, and that is going to be 1 fourth. Awesome. Actually, before I do that, if you don't mind, I'm going to do something first and then log because I believe it's going to be a lot easier if I do that. I just realized I'm going to uh, slightly modify this. So we can write this as 16 to the power x plus 1 half squared plus y plus 1 half squared. And then that is divided by 16 to the power 1 half, which is uh, root squared of 16. What is that? 4, right? Okay, here we go. Good, okay. Now this is nicer because now I can multiply both sides by four and my expression is going to be much, much nicer. And I could probably skip the log part because I already talked about it and I hope you don't mind me like taking uh, less time here. So this is going to be less than or equal to one. And this is really nice. Just think about it. If uh, the exponent is zero, you're gonna get 16 to the power zero, which is equal to one. And you want this to be less than or equal to one. So you want the exponent to be less than zero, obviously. If you get a positive exponent, the answer on the left hand side is going to be greater than one, obviously, right? Think about it. So this involves, lo after logging both sides, you're going to get the following. x plus 1 half squared plus y plus 1 half squared is less than or equal to zero. Uh-oh, this is not good. Or maybe this is good. Who knows? Okay, so I got two, uh, sum of two squares, which is less than or equal to zero. But guess what? The left hand side cannot be negative. Therefore, it has to be zero. Awesome. This is a really good result because from a single equation, we were able to solve for two variables at the same time. Of course, we're looking for real solutions and this has to equal zero because it can't be negative. And from here, we get the following. X plus one half is zero, which means, I don't think I need to write that. X me equals negative one half and Y equals negative one half. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.